Hello children, I'm Parita teacher and I welcome you all for today's session with a jumbo hug. Children, we are learning our capital letters now. We have completed learning all our small letters. We have already learned a few capital letters and today is a day to learn another capital letter, which is capital letter B. Yes, children, we will be learning that, but in just a bit. So what are we going to do today? Well, I show you some shapes. And from where am I going to get those shapes? Well, I'll try and make a few shapes with my fingers and you will have to tell me what is that shape. So let's begin. Can you tell me which is this shape? Yes, it's a circle. Now, what about this shape? Correct, it's a triangle. Now, which is this shape? Yes, that's right. It's a diamond shape, also known as a rhombus. What about this shape? Correct, it's a square shape. Lovely children. So these were the few shapes that I could make with my fingers. And yes, you have recognized all of them very well. That is correctly. So children, let's get started by saying our golden rules. Elephant ears, magnet eyes, clean your desk for learning, hands on your lap and sweet talking mouth. Let's quickly revise all the sounds. And let's begin. Let us try and say the sound along with the action. S. S says S. A. A says F. T. T says T. B. B says P. N. N says N. I. I says I. L. L says L. D. D says D. F. F says H. H says H. O. O says O. C. C says K. K also says K. C. K. Also says G says G R says R B says B E says F M says M V says V J says J. W says W. U says A. X says X. Y says Y. Z says Z. Q U says Qu. Lovely children. Now let us take a look at a letter. Now we see two letters. Yes, and you all know this letter. Could you tell me what is this letter? That's right. It is small letter B. What about this letter? 
That is our capital letter P. Lovely. And what would be the sound of a small letter P? And would you like to tell me what would be the sound of a capital letter P? Correct, it's the same sound. That is because capital letter and small letters have the same sound. And it's time to skywrite a capital letter P. My turn first. So I'll take my magic pen and I shall begin skywriting the capital letter P. I'll put my magic pen at the top, make a standing line, and then from the top, I will make a curve and I'll touch that curve to the center of our standing line for the letter P. Your turn, children. Take your magic pens. Yes, we make a standing line. And then from the top, we'll make a curve that will touch to the center or somewhere to the middle of our standing line. That is our capital letter P. Time to describe the letter again. Let's take a magic pen, put them on the desk, and let's begin. Standing line, curve that touches to the middle or the center of the standing line. Your turn now, children. Take your magic pen, put them on the desk. Make a standing line. And then from the top, we'll make a curve that touches to the center of a standing line. That is a capital letter P. Now, time to take a look at the pictures. Right here, we have one that is P. Popcorn. Yes. And P. Pajamas. Correct. P. What is this color? Pink. Very good. P. Purple. P. What is this? Patties. Very good. P. Pastries. Lovely. So these were our pictures on capital letter P. And now to play a fun game. Let's begin by saying Abragadabra, gili gili, shoo, and here it is. So, the game is about, let's find friends of letter P. Let's start. And here we have a few objects. Which do you think could be the friend of letter P? Could it be pajama? Could it be zebra or drum? Correct, that's pajama, P, pajama. Let's click on it. Yes, that's correct. Let's move to the next one. Now, out of these, which do you think could be the friend of letter P? Could it be dog, pastry, or fish? Mm, let's see. Dog, you say? P, dog? No. What about this? P, pastry? Yes, that's right. Let's click on it. That's correct. And let's see. Which one could be the friend of letter P? Star, doll, or paint? Correct. P, paint. Let's click on it. Yes, that's correct as well. And what do we have next? Mmm, yummy, yummy patties. 
these are fruits of fox. Right, it is P patties. Let's click on it. Correct. And what do we have next? Which of these could be the friend of letter P? Dolphin, ball, or the color purple? Mm, let's check P. Dolphin, P. Ball, P. Purple? Yes, it is purple. That's good. And this means we have full score. Five on five. Well done, children. And with that, it's time to show you your fun home play activity, which is right here. So the fun home play activity is called Graveyard. And what would you need for it? You would need purple paint, art sheet, and a bottle cap. And what would you have to do? So you would have to dip the cap in the paint and take impressions of the same on the art sheet, forming a grape. And then, children, you can draw the stem and the leaves. So this is your fun home play activity. So children, with this we come to an end for a today's session. I shall be back soon. Till then, do take good care of yourself, children. Bye-bye.